I've been around the two of you enough times to know that you'll never hold grudges, you'll never keep score, this isn't a baseball game, you'll never say you owe me, you will simply and sweetly continue to light up each other's worlds with your compassion, your kindness, your humility. Of course, there will be times when the patience is tested, nights of too many rumplements or the Yankees blowing a late lead, but these times will seem smaller less significant as the two of you discover all the things that you cared about before pale in comparison for how much you care for one another. So knowing this, Daniel, do you come here freely without hesitation or trepidation with full confidence knowing that you will work each day to build a happy, loving, and lasting marriage? I do. All right. I was worried about that one. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley, do you come here willingly without hesitation or trepidation? with full confidence that you'll work each day to build a happy, loving, lasting marriage? I do. Colossians 3, 12 through 14 tells us, Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against the other, forgive each other as the Lord has forgiven you. You must also forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. So this is the part where uh, I'm supposed to declare the two of you husband and wife, but obviously that's, uh, that's something that's done by like a marriage certificate and not me at this baseball field and was done a year ago. So that's not, not in my purview. Uh, but even if it was my purview, that's not something that I can declare. That the day that you two got married is the day that you got down on one knee and the day that you said yes. That was the day that this wedding really took, took place. And that was, that was a moment that, that, you know, that I remember well and, and that I've seen you grow so much since then. And I really look forward to seeing you grow further. Um, so if you want to turn to the crowd, I will do it anyways. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause for Mr. and Mrs. Fetter. What Daniel and Ashley have is special. Um, I'm, I'm extremely happy for both of them. I'm proud, proud of both of them. Um, they say that life is short, but in all actuality, it's the longest thing you will ever do. And the fact that you two have chosen to do it together shows it, you do have something special. Oh, 
All right, this last one, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to make some noise because we're going to ask our newlyweds, hey, who do you love most in the world right now? single mom finding someone who loves your child like their own is a difficult task being able to watch Desra, Daniel love Ezra like Ashley does was one of my favorite parts of watching Daniel and Ashley build a life together I'm forever grateful for my friendship with Ashley and now Daniel I wish you both a lifetime of happiness and I'm grateful that you've chosen me to be a part of it